What is up you guys? This is Mr. Clutch here back again on Madden 18 Ultimate Team. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my predictions for the Super Bowl. If you didn't get these solos done by today at 11 o'clock, you're no longer able to play the solos. I'm sorry I'm bringing this to, to you guys a little bit late, but these are my predictions. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you my predictions and I'm going to tell you why. So to start out, the result of the Super Bowl, I have the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. And why I chose the Patriots is because they're pretty much proven that they can play at the big stage. You know, I don't know about the Eagles yet. They haven't been in a really long time. And I just think that, you know, it comes down to Tom Brady being a winner. And I just think he's going to go out and win today. You know, I don't know about Nick Foles. Um, I, I kind of like the guy myself, but um, I just think Tom Brady's going to go out there and he's going to be the difference maker in this game. He has a lot of weapons. You know, uh, he has a decent defense. It's not great, but it's good. I, I believe they're going to hold up against the Eagles. I also believe that there will be 48 total points scored in the game. I do think that the Eagles offense and the Patriots offense and or defense slash special teams, will be able to score 48 points in total. I think it's going to be a really high scoring, scoring game. I also do think that Tom Brady will have at least 275 passing yards because he has a lot of weapons at his disposal. I mean, he has Julian Eldeman, Deion Lewis, James White, Brandon Cooks, Danny Amendola, Gronkowski, you name him, he's got him. He's going to have 275 passing yards. I also think that Deion Lewis will also have 100 total rushing and receiving yards. So that I'm thinking that he's going to have at least like 75 rushing yards and like 25 receiving. I, I could safely say that. So I, I predicted that is true. James Watt has at least one touchdown. Okay, so... If you guys remember back, um, I think it was a couple Super Bowls ago, this guy was literally the MVP. Belichick likes to use him in goal line situations, and he likes to use him in just third and short situations. I think, I think this guy's really, he, he's a, he's a really good receiving back, and he's going to be able to punch one in in there. I I really truly believe that. So, I predicted that is true. Danny Amendola has at least 60 receiving yards. Um, I also think this is uh, true. I think uh, he's going to be, you know, obviously running them little out routes that he always does. And Tom Brady's going to be getting him the ball a lot. I also think that Brandon Cooks will score a touchdown. I know that sounds a little crazy, but Brandon Cooks is their best receiver. He's kind of uh, Tom Brady's go-to receiver when it comes to like the red zone. So I, I really think that Brandon Cooks is going to be getting a touchdown. I also think that Chris Hogan will also have 40 receiving yards. And I chose that because I think Chris Hogan's kind of like a sleeper. Nobody's really worried about him. I think he's going to be in the slot, and he's going to get 40 receiving yards. I mean, that could come with one one catch, you know. Gronkowski has at least 80 receiving yards. I put that as false. I don't think Gronkowski has 80 receiving yards because he's just coming off a concussion. So I don't think that he's going to have 80 receiving yards. He's not going to be fully healthy. Plus, Tom Brady just has... Way too many other uh, guys out there that is kind of low key, and you know that a lot of defenses ain't really worried about. But they're really going to be paying attention to Gronkowski. They're going to be doubling him. They're going to have a linebacker on him and a safety. Mark my word, they're going to take Gronkowski out of the Super Bowl more than likely. He might have 40 receiving yards at the most. Malcolm Butler has at least one interception. I put that as false. I don't think I don't think that Nick Foles gets intercepted by Malcolm Butler. 
But I do think that he gets intercepted by Stephon Gilmore. I think Stephon Gilmore will get an interception against Bowles. Trey Flowers has at least one sack. I do believe that is true. Trey Flowers will get one sack in the Super Bowl. Cal Van Noy has at least one sack. I put that as false. I don't think he. I don't think he does. I think he only had like five on the season. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to say this guy's first name, but I think Wise will not have any sacks of the Super Bowl. Devin McCourty has at least seven combined tackles. I think that he will have at least seven combined tackles. That counts solos and assists. He, um, I looked his stats up. You know, he was averaging about like five, six, seven tackles a game in total. So I, I think he, I think he's going to have, I think he's going to be a difference maker in this game. Now, on the other hand, I do not think Chung is at least going to have seven combined tackles. He just hadn't had as many as Devin McCourty on the season. Stefan Goskowski makes at least one field goal of at least 45 yards. I do believe that is true because I feel like the Eagles defense will stop them a couple times right in their territory, right, right, right there at about that range, and I think Goskowski will put one through. Nick Foles has at least 275 passing yards. I, I put true on that. I know I'm kind of reaching on that a little bit, but I just think Nick Foles will have a really good game. I mean, he's got a lot of weapons himself. He's got Jeffrey. He's got Torrey Smith, Nelson Algalor, Zach Ertz. Um, he has Jay Ajahi, Mel Blunt. I, I think he's going to... And I also think they're going to incorporate Corey Clement into the receiving game a little bit, too. So I think he's going to have at least 275 passing yards. Jay Ajahi has at least 100 total rushing and receiving yards. I do believe that is false because I just don't think Jay Ajahi... He might have 75 rushing yards, but I don't think he's going to have 25 receiving yards. I think uh, Nick Foles is... He's going to be getting it out there to his receivers and his tight ends, more than likely. Mel uh, LeGarrett Blunt has at least one touchdown. I do believe that LeGarrett Blunt will have a touchdown in this game. I just think Doug P uh, Peterson will put him in there on a goal line situation, first down, third down, what have you. He's going to get a freaking touchdown. I'm telling you right now. Alshon Jeffrey has at least one touchdown. I believe that is true. I also believe that Zach Ertz will also get a touchdown. But I, sh I believe Alshon Jeffrey will get a touchdown. Torrey Smith has at least 40 receiving yards. I put that as false. I don't think Torrey Smith is going to have 40 receiving yards. I think um, he, you know, Nick Foles has a lot better options to go to than uh, Torrey Smith. So, with saying that, I think Nelson Algalor has at least four receptions. He's been averaging three to four to five receptions a game. So, and he's been one of the most favorite targets. I do also believe that Zach Ertz has at least 80 receiving yards. That is one of Nick Foles' favorite targets. And so uh, was he Carson Wentz's favorite target on the season. He's been playing lots out this year. So I believe he'll have 80 receiving yards. Patrick Robinson has at least one interception. I don't think that Patrick Robinson will have an interception. That, that's definitely false. I think uh, Ronald Darby has a better chance of getting an interception. But I do not think... I put it as false that he will not get an interception. I don't think that I don't think he's going to intercept Brady. I don't I don't I don't know if anybody's going to accept or intercept Brady. I don't know if anybody's going to intercept Brady. Brady's just too good. He makes a lot of really good reads. You know he he don't normally throw any interceptions, especially in Super Bowls. Brandon Graham has at least one sack. I definitely think that is true. I think he's going to get off the edge, and he's going to he's going to sack Brady. He's going to definitely put a lot of pressure on him. Chris Long has at least one sack 
or uh, no, Fletcher Cox has at least one sack. I do believe that is true. I believe he's going to get penetration up the middle and the pocket will collapse and sock, uh, <laughs> Cox will get a sack. Chris Long has at least one sack. I do believe that is not true. I don't think Chris Long is going to get to the quarterback. Um, Michael Kendricks has at least seven combined tackles. I do believe he has seven combined tackles. Malcolm Jenkins has at least seven combined tackles. I put that as false. I think they have a lot more players that can get, you know, a lot more tackles than Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Jake Elliott makes all field goals and extra point attempts. I do believe that that is true. I believe he does make all of his field goals and all of his extra point attempts. Just for the simple fact, because he's been really consistent over this past year, I think he'll get it done. And with having said all that, that is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.